Welcome back to the Retro in 3, and I'm still looking at light gun games. So today, we're going to take a look at Revolution X, which is an arcade game from Midway that was released in 1994, and it would hit the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, the Sega Saturn, and the Sony PlayStation a few years later. As you can see, the game stars the band Aerosmith. Your task is to rescue Aerosmith from the New Order Nation, an oppressive raging that wants to outlaw all youth culture. Because the first thing that comes to mind when I think about youth culture is a group of middle-aged rockers. This game can be considered the spiritual successor to Midway's previous light gun game, Terminator 2, as it uses the same mounted machine gun design, only instead of rockets, you're shooting CDs as your secondary weapon. The band members are hidden throughout each of the game's five stages, and if you can find them, you'll unlock the game's true ending. The leader of the New Order Nation, Helga, is played by Carrie Hoskins. If that name sounds familiar to you, then she's the actress who portrayed Sonya Blade in the early Mortal Kombat games. Fun fact number one. The game was originally meant to be a Jurassic Park arcade game. However, Sega would obtain the rights to the game, Thus, Midway will retool it into a game that stars Aerosmith. Fun fact number two. Midway planned a sequel that will feature the rap group Public Enemy. Fortunately, it will be scrapped due to the bad reception that the original Revolution X would get. As I stated, this game would come to the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, and the Sony PlayStation. However, none of the 16-bit versions would use either the Super Scope or the Sega Minister, or even the Justifiers from Konami's Lethal Enforcers. This is particularly puzzling, because when Terminator 2 the arcade game hit the SNES, that at least used the Super Scope. Whether you liked or hated this game depends on how much you loved Aerosmith. Me personally, I was a huge fan of Aerosmith back in the day. Matter of fact, their big ones cassette was one of the first albums I got as a kid. If you want to play this game, then it will run you anywhere from $20 to $100 depending on what platform you buy it on and what condition it's in. Again, whether you'll like or hate this game will depend on how much you like Aerosmith. On a side note, the New Order Nation logo looks a lot like the Nine Inch Nails logo. Enough of that, follow me for more gaming content.